Welcome back to Scarf with Miss Natalie. That's me. So today we are going to read a story all about a little boy who goes and plays in the snow, which we finally got some snow. It took a pretty long time this year, but we did get some. Did you get any time to play outside in the snow? You did. That's fun. Did you make a snowman or go sledding? Or maybe you made snow angels. Those are always good times. So the story is called The Mitten. And it's all about this little mitten right here that gets dropped in the snow and all of these animals who are trying to find somewhere warm to go. So they squeeze on into this mitten. So this story was written and illustrated by Jan Brett. So let's go along on their animal adventure to find some warmth in the snow inside of this mitten. The Mitten, written and illustrated by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from the wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. There she is. She's knitting them all together. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Do you see where the mitten went? Right there. There it is. It fell from out of here. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Here's the mole going into the mitten. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was enough room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So there they are, the rabbit and the mole, both in the mitten. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue, and someone covered with prickles, they made room. <clears throat> hedgehog has all of these spikes on him, and sometimes when you touch them, they can hurt. So the mole and the rabbit, they didn't want to get pricked by it. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. So this owl has these sharp nails, which are called talons. And these guys didn't want to get hurt, so they made room so the owl can get in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. So here's the badger. And right there is where the thumb would go. But that's where he snuck in. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Here he goes, into the mitten. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? 
The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. There goes the bear. Look at all those animals now in this mitten, which has grown so, so big. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Here's the mouse on the bear. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 ka-choo! The force of the sneeze shot the men up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. So there goes all the animals. They all flew out of the mitten. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. There it is. So Nikki found his mitten. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. So there's Baba right there in the window. And Nikki has one, two mittens. And now look at the mittens. One is super, super long because they got stretched from all the animals. And the other one is the normal size. But Nikki still had his snow white mittens. The end. Did you enjoy this story? This is one of my favorite winter books because it's so fun to see all of these animals try to fit their way into this mitten. So what we're going to do is we're going to now think back to the story and try to remember which animal went into the mitten first. And then we're going to add each additional animal into our own mitten one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my materials ready and then I will come back and we will start retelling the mitten story. All right. So now I have all my materials and I'm going to go ahead and tell you everything that you're going to need in order to do this story retelling activity. So the first thing that you're going to need is these cutouts and these you can ask an adult to help you. So your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, big brother, big sister to go ahead and help print these out for you. But these will be on the Hoffman Estates Park District website. So heparks.org under the preschool tab. Go ahead and click on that and you can find these printouts. So first you're going to need the mitten printout. This is the mitten we're going to use to put all of the animals into when we were telling our story. And also you're going to need all of the animal printouts too. So go ahead and have someone help you print those out. The next thing that you're going to need is any kind of writing utensils. So I'm going to use these colored pencils, but you can use crayons or markers, whichever one you have at home. Next is you're going to need some glue. So I'm just going to use regular white school glue, but you can use a glue stick too. That will work as well. So if you don't have this kind of glue, go ahead and use a glue stick. And then the last thing that you're going to need is some scissors. Now remember, using scissors, you got to be super careful and go super slow. And if you need help using your scissors, ask someone that can help you. So either your mom, your dad, grandma, grandma, aunt, uncle, big brother, big sister, whoever's around who can help you use your scissors when we get to that part. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is go ahead and take all of our animals and we need to go ahead and color them. So grab your coloring utensils, whichever one you're using, and go ahead and color in all of your animals. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back and show you the next thing that we have to do. Okay, so now I have all of my animals colored in. The next thing that you need to do is cut out all of the animals. So along this dark black line that goes around all of the animals, that's what you're going to follow when you're cutting. And again, if you need help using your scissors, go ahead and ask someone who can help you. So your mom, your dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, big brother, big sister, if you need some help. But this is definitely some very good practice cutting out shapes and things with your scissors. So go ahead and cut them all out. Okay, so 
I went ahead and cut out all of my animals. So here is my whole pile of animals. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look back and try to remember which animal went into the mitten first and then what animal comes next. So we are gonna do a retelling of this story in our very own mitten. So the mitten you can either just leave on this piece of paper or if you want, you can go ahead and follow the black lines and cut out the mitten as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on the paper. Go ahead and grab your glue so you have that all ready when you need it. And let's go ahead and look back in our story so that we can remember which animals came first and in the order that they continued to enter the mitten. So let's go ahead and find the page where the first animal goes into the mitten. Here we go. So on this page, it has the first animal, which is right there. And who remembers what animal was the first animal to go into the mitten? That's right, it's the mole. It's our little mole friend. So go ahead and look in all of your cut out animals. Find the mole. Here's my mole. And then we're gonna glue that onto the very top because we're gonna go in order from the top down to the bottom of when the animals entered our mitten. So if you have a glue stick, go ahead and put some glue on the back. If you're using regular glue, go ahead and put some glue on the back with your regular glue and stick it up on the very top of your mitten. Just like that. There we go. So now we have our mole in the mitten. Let's move on to the next one. And I'm gonna show you something that's super cool about this book because this book kind of gives you a sneak peek or a hint before you even turn the page. So do you see these mittens on either side? So these are your sneak peek hints. So when you look over here, this is what just happened. And if you look over here, this is what's going to happen. So what animal do you see? The rabbit. So when we turn the page, you're going to notice the next animal is the rabbit. And that's what's super cool about this book because it gives you sneak peek hints into what's coming next. And if you need to remember what's going on, you can always look over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look back at our cutouts of our animals. Find the rabbit. So here is my rabbit. Go ahead and put some glue on there. And then we're going to go ahead and put the rabbit right down here. So that it's next to the mole, so we still have lots of space for all of our other animals, but it's also a little bit under. There we go. So now let's find out what animal comes next. So again, remember our little sneak peek hint. Go ahead and look in the mitten. And what animal do you see? The hedgehog. So let's turn the page, see if we're correct. And there it is, the hedgehog. So let's find our hedgehog animal that we colored. So here's mine. Go ahead and put some glue on the back. And we're gonna stick it down right there. There we go. This way it's under both the mole and the rabbit. We still have lots of space for all of our other animals. So let's move on. Look at our sneak peek hint mitten. And what animal do you see? An owl. So let's see if that is the next animal. There it is with his talons. So let's find our owl. Here is mine. Go ahead and put some glue. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Put it slightly underneath the hedgehog. There we go. We still have lots of space. So now let's go to our sneak peek hen mitten. And what is the next animal? This one's kind of hard. He's way down there. The badger. So let's check. There he is. There is the badger. So go ahead and find your badger. There is mine. So we'll put some glue on the back. 
Now with glue, you don't need a lot of glue. So just put a little bit and that will go a long way and I promise it will stick. So go ahead and put your hedgehog a little bit below the owl on the other side. And there we go, all of our animals so far. Let's move on. Go back to our sneak peek mitten. What animal is next? The fox. Let's double check. And there the fox goes into the mitten. So go ahead and look at your remaining animals. Find your fox. And then put some glue on the back. There we go. Stick it right a little bit below where the badger was. We're almost done, we only have two more animals. So let's look at our sneak peek mitten. What animal do you see next? The bear, let's double check. Yep, there he is, the big bear. So go ahead and find your bear picture. This one right there. Put some glue. And then we're going to do the same thing. Stick it a little bit below where the fox went. There we go. Now we have one more animal to put onto our mitten. Let's take a sneak, get our sneak peek mitten. Who's this little guy? The mouse, the metal mouse. Let's double check. Yep, he's right there on the bear's nose. So go ahead and find your very last animal picture. Here he is. Put some glue. And the last one stuck onto our mitten. Go ahead, put a little bit below the bear. And there you go. All of our animals are in our mitten. So let's go through it one more time and we're gonna retell the story using our colored mitten. So the first animal was the mole. The mole went into the mitten. And the next animal is the rabbit. The rabbit came after the mole. And then the next animal is the hedgehog. The hedgehog came after the rabbit and the mole. And the next animal after the hedgehog is the owl. The owl came after the hedgehog, the rabbit, and the mole. And the next animal after the owl is the badger. Badger came after the owl, the hedgehog, the rabbit, and the mole. And the next animal after the badger is the fox. The fox came after the badger, the owl, the hedgehog, the rabbit, and the mole. And the next animal after the fox is the bear. The bear came after the fox, the badger, the owl, the hedgehog, the rabbit, and the mole. And the last animal that came after the bear was the mouse. The mouse came after the bear, the fox, the badger, the owl, the hedgehog, the rabbit, and the mole. And all of these animals were inside of Nikki's Snow White Mitten. So there you have it. So if you don't ever have the story with you, like I do, you can always use your mitten and retell the story yourself because all of the animals are in the order that they go into the mitten. So I hope you enjoyed this super fun mitten snow adventure today, learning how we can retell a story even if we don't have the book in front of us. And I hope you have a wonderful two weeks and come on back not next Friday, but the Friday after, and we will have another super fun discovery with Miss Stanley. So I hope you have a great two weeks, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye!